of this knock. I'd rather go get stuff off the mayor first. Right, now has the god spawned yet? No. So, with the mayor, until you like put the first shop on, you can kind of cheeky and you can use certain items up. So you only have like none of that item at all. You can't do it with that. And because of that, you can just like keep getting items off him. So I catch you no know, you know. I had like repair powder and I just instantly used it. And if this the shampoo which I've got was broke was like broken as well, I can just repair that with the one he's given me and then get another one. It's a cool trick to keep getting items. But it'll only last until you put the shop finish the shop. Which I'll do. Now we'll put this building now because now we'll just get those extra items. So that one's a good there. That's about as much we can do. As you can see, there's like an item spawn there. The further you go in the dungeon, the more items spawn. So I've got extra bread, extra water, and somewhere around. Where is he going? There he is, Macho. Ah, uh, gone, I miss you, man. Okay, you've been a bit friendly there, dude. Um, if you ask this, basically I'll tell you what they want from it. I wanna... So, so it, like I said before, if you do request if, to make the, the place better, you get rewarded, so... He says, fighting is what a man should live for. Now that's very cryptic, but what he wants is, he wants his house to be near the cave so he can, like, work out. So, let's ask him what he needs for his house. Expand his room and then his barber. This is quite funny, which I never noticed until recently because the room he has to expand, as you can see by this sign, is not actually his, it's actually his brother's. Which is really funny. So this is his room here. And then the room you end up expanding is actually Camacho's. So Camacho stole Camacho's room, basically. It is dust. It doesn't really affect me because I don't, I don't have the items I need or the location I am to do the fishing, so we should go back and get them. Now we have a decent better weapon, which we've got to look at with, and I can actually use it to my first. I can start the road. And what's this? Keep it out. damage that does compared to the dagger. Now as you'd expect certain enemies have certain weaknesses similar to like Pokemon. So like the skeleton soldier, on the, there's so much more to explain. On the weapon you've got attributes, so you've got like attack stat, which is based on how much damage you do, endurance which is how much your robot can go down. So if you have endurance high, it's very your weapon will like get damaged very a lot slower. The speed is how quickly you can you know you string your attacks together, and your magic power is how basically how much your magic affects you. So I've got four and the thunder attribute, which is my magic attribute. I've got eight, so that's an elemental. So if I had a say I had a skull and soldier, and I had about five to ten hollow light, and I activate that one, it would do more damage. And the same can be said for these, the monster hunting troops, each, there's, certain, there's 10 types of monster, 10 classes of monster. You have dragons, reptiles and dragons, you have beasts, you have sky monsters, undead monsters, sea monsters, metal monsters, mimics, which you can see them, they're all one monster, rock, plant and maid. Now for right, all these, you upgrade more, like I have now I've got a stone brick, so I'll put that on, and it adds to my amount of effectiveness my weapon is against rock monsters. 
and so on so on. So another thing to build, get your weapon built up the next one. So this will be going into the do stack. I need more attack on the weapon. I need to put more endurance, more magic power, more ice, more wind, more holy beast, metal nips. Now you see this only puts like three on. So as you can see, it's you didn't see it take some like a thing a long time, but you can get better attachments called gems which upgrade seven stats at once. And that's a stamina ring. Which I could use to start from the energy, but I'm not going to just yet. Well I uh quick side up. Welcome uh, Ronnie, I'm just finally doing the let's play of it, just welcome to the stream as well. Here's a llama, there's a llama, and a llama. Okay, that, for anybody who remembers that song, the llama song, I will give you a high five if you see you. That was a, one of the cool songs we used to have in high school. Upstairs stuff. Another thing is, you can actually access the Jirama stuff in the dungeon. So, like now I can put that in the claws house and that in the claws house. You can't do that. You can only do it when you're in the dungeon or in like uh, diorama mode outside of the dungeon. So if you're just like on the ground normally you ought to do it. And it's when that's the boom macho when it's expanding but it's actually the macho as well. It's an alien. Which I have never actually realised until I started doing those practice playthroughs to verify which is which what's like randomised in the game what's not. Okay, what we got? Dashes. Now these are cost um, beast. And I don't know what these are. Good. These are obviously dead. I think they might be made as well. So you've got like different classes of monsters. Now back to I said before they don't happen, but they give you about three experience points, which goes towards building weapon up. So like Every time you kill an enemy, you get what's known as ABS points. So that's like experience points. The more when when you max out these points, you are allowed to upgrade it. Now, upgrading anything you put on your weapon, the upgrading will actually add that strength to your weapon. It will also add one point for all the for attack, endurance, speed, and magic power. Every time it's upgraded, it won't do it for these ones. So that's how you end up powering your weapon up, basically. See, just look at the stats compared to this. This is a dagger. 6 attack, in 30 endurance, 70 speed, 2 magic power. It's only got 4 wind ability and 4 boost. That, now look, if you compare it to this, that's just pathetic. That is seriously just pathetic. State and it was just never programmed to drop anything off it's because of what they are because I don't you, you do can't see a bat out carrying money around really can you then again you can't see a werewolf carrying money around right now these effects spots these every time you walk over these it has a random effect so some of the effects are it'll give you give you stamina it can give you stamina or it can give all the monsters stamina it can also double your money, if it'll say your money's raised a little bit and it'll double your money, it'll say your money was lost, your money went down a little bit, which will half your money. It can also basically repair your weapon or decrease your max weapon's health, so it could be a B in your weapon, which is weapon hit points. It can increase the max amount or it can decrease it. It can also basically instantly give you a weapon full ABS. Now I've been told there's 
I've been told, I've never confirmed this, but apparently there's a rare, very rare one. So it goes, actually instantly breaks your weapon. Now I've never had that. But, a trick that not a lot of people know is if you use your default weapon, if you equip your default weapon and go over it, then the effect is always stamina for you. Always. And that is a good way of like avoiding losing money. It's a good way if you're poisoned and have no antidote because if you have a stamina effect on top of poison, once the stamina goes away, so does the poison. It's good if you don't want to take risk basically. You can always like just do that to make sure you don't get killed or lose anything. Surprisingly not a lot of people know about that. Not like the items that you mentioned that to you. See, as you can see, I'm now I've got stamina, I can do twice as much damage as I would normally. Welcome new people to the stream. You can just twice I'll, okay, I lost one there. You do twice as much damage and you do you take half as much hits when you perform an enemy basically. Candy box. No, yeah, that's for Claude. We don't. No, we don't have anything. I can put it there. Right? Now I'm hoping. No, I've got, got looking. I've got looking just the first way now. I'm hoping that doesn't mean I've got one of the um, the games. That, see, there's a treasure chest, chest I mentioned before. But to me, the useless because as soon as you get to the morning, and hello, the treasure chest. Hello indeed. What have you got inside here? Yeah. That's a bit wrong. Just give it a bit of a test. Come here. Ow! Yeah, that was a bit stupid on my side. Come here. I got prickly seed. I got in there. A gladius. Now, considering when we are in the weapon grid, that's pretty useless, but... No, it doesn't. There are rare times where, very rare indeed, where if you like gain a weapon from a, from a chest or you buy a weapon, it has an extra, it may, there's a very rare chance it may have an extremely rare ability called durable. However, there's also the same very rare chance it could have it's the rare ability fragile. Now durable reduces your weapon, the amount of damage your weapon takes. It's a very, very rare art book where they find, you find it on random, uh, Random weapons that you get end up acquiring or I've had it I literally once had it in one of the playthroughs where I got been given the serpent slicer from I think it's from Trion in the second area and it's had durable on it. So there is anytime you get a weapon there's a very rare chance that you have durable on it. Unfortunately that doesn't and the thing is that is a tier one weapon and it's not worth us building up because it doesn't go to the any of the weapons that have abilities. Unfortunately. It has a very high undead. But it's not it's not as powerful as weapon we've got now and it, it's a tier behind us. We don't want that. But yeah, the treasure chest key is once you catch a fish called a mad agrarian, which gives you a ton of fishing points and is a good way to, to start like fishing for farming for Jed. The gems to, to like power you up and up quickly. You basically have when you get this trap chest, it comes up saying, Mad and Gary shows the way, and they say, I've said there is no trap at all. Basically, show you which trap is, so there's no point in keeping this treasure chest. And that's what they sell me for. They're pretty standard, they're useless. So, the next one, I feel great. Right. Go away. He's basically going to tell us something new, which basically, you know, how to lock on, which you just press circle, how to switch, lock on, and that's it. And about attributes, which I just mentioned. See, once you've played the game as many times as I have, it's, it's just standard knowledge. I'm going to be careful if I end up getting one into a statue or what. Green Peach. That can be used as both as an attacker and an efficient bit. Ice. No, I need ice, don't I? I believe I do. Do I need ice? I do. So I'll put it on for now. I'm hopefully going to get some 